Davis calling. Is Barbara home? Hi, Miss Davidson. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> How are you today, dear? I was at home one day, just relaxing, watching television, and this woman, she called my house. I don't know how she got my phone number, but she called my house and um, she wanted to commit suicide. What I did was I told the woman to hold on for a quick second and she's crying and carrying on, you know, and she said, sure. So I come back to the phone as my character, as Mrs. Davidson. If I had to dial the, the, the wrong number, I'd have never got with you. And I'm doing so much better now. I'm able to deal with it. I, I'm not into that depressed mood anymore because of you. Now she calls me all the time, you know. She calls me all the time, and, and she likes to talk to Mrs. Davidson. I haven't met the woman yet. We're going to schedule an appointment, a, a day to meet. I don't know exactly what day, but it may be like tomorrow or something. Would you be available? Yes, I can't wait to see you. Barbara, I'm yes. Mrs. Davidson's son. Yeah. Mrs. Davidson will be in shortly. Oh, good. And she made me feel so good. I just can't, just can't wait to see her. She's kind of different. Oh, I, I don't care. Why don't you go get her and, and, and just let us talk? She's kind of with us now. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm Mrs. Davidson. You're Miss Davidson. I'm the person that you were talking to over the phone. Please don't be mad. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, close your eyes. Well, hi, Barbara. Hi, dear. How are you doing today, honey? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.